Hello, 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 hello. Today, a problem, yeah, first year physics college problem. An electromagnet, steel core, and a very small air gap. If you choose the dimensions correctly, which I tried, of course, then you can calculate the magnetic field in the air gap to a very high degree of accuracy. Key is that the air gap is much smaller than the radius of the steel core of the magnet. And I've chosen that. And when I solve the problem, I will mention that if the air gap is not much, much smaller than that radius of the core, then you get fringe fields. And those fringe fields bulging out near the air gap will then lower the magnetic field. But we don't have to worry about that. You can completely ignore any fringe fields. You ready? Here is the circular steel core of the electromagnet. The steel has a relative permeability of about 2500. The cross-sectional area of this core is about 5 square centimeters and the air gap is only about two and a half millimeters, right here. Radius of this core is about eight centimeters, and there are here windings through which currents will flow, and windings around this core. And n is 130, and the current through these through this wire is 15 amperes. And the question is, what is the magnetic field in Tesla inside the air gap? I mentioned here 5% accuracy. You could even ignore that if you want to, because when you make the simplest assumptions that you can, you get an answer and you wouldn't even know how accurate it is. Because in that assumption you have ignored fringe fields. And you can take my word for it that you can ignore those fringe fields. Okay, it's a very classic problem. <laughs> Any student at MIT, regardless of what they are majoring in, has done this problem. Because at MIT, your first year, you have not declared yet the area in which you will major. So if you go to major in economy, or you go to major in English literature, or if you're going to major in computer science, you always have to take the first year the two basic courses of physics. A01, Newtonian mechanics, A02, electricity and magnetism. Every student has to take that. And this is... <laughs> One of my problems when I was lecturing 802, Electricity and Magnetism at MIT. But I'm not the only one who has given this problem, of course. It's a very classic one. So, give it a shot. Have a nice day. Take care. And surely, surely we'll be friends. <laughs> Unless you don't want to.